Hey everyone, it's Sue. So yesterday I snuck in a little extra video in my repertoire because I wanted to try out a challenge by Unicorn Dust Designs called Try It Tuesday. So if you missed that episode, click on the link above and you can check it out. And if you like my DIYs and art videos, please, please, please give them a like, a thumbs up, and comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe because it really does help my channel. So today I am going to take a look back at the calendar that I made a couple of videos ago and I just want to spruce it up a little bit with a little special decor. So if you want to see how I did that, let's get started. So just to jog your memory, this is my command center calendar memo board that I created, but I wasn't quite in love with it and I thought it could use a little sprucing up. So first thing I did was take some suggestions from you guys and I used a permanent marker to mark on the grid for my calendar and then just use dry erase to put the different days of the week on in any memos. And I think it looked a lot cleaner and neater. So far, so good. The next problem was my month sign, even though it was light, kept falling down every time I wrote on the board. And I thought that the whole project looked a little bleh, so I wanted to really spruce it up. So I decided to put some magnets on the sign and then I could add different decorations for my different moods and different themes. So I just used my Gorilla Hot Glue and put some magnets on the actual frame and then on the back of my April sign. And now I can swap out the months easy peasy and they don't fall on my head. Perfect. So then I decided that the bottom needed a little sprucing up so I put some more magnets on the bottom. And then I thought, ooh, I could put lots of different decor on here. Now I wanted something to go with the lemon theme that I've been doing in the kitchen. And I had this piece of wood from the Dollar Tree and I glued some of the magnets on the back. Then I printed out this really pretty lemon paper and glued it onto the piece of wood. Then I used my Cricut to print out the little phrase, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then I went over everything with some Mod Podge and let it dry. Then I spruced it up and decided to make it match my decor by using some of the burlap tape that I had, cut it down so it was a bit narrow, and then framed the sign. And I think it looks stinking cute. What do you think? Then I started looking through my stash of decor to see what else I might be able to stick on my sign for different months. And I had these little metal galvanized hearts which would stick all by themselves. Then I found some succulents that I could glue some magnets on or even some florals from the Dollar Tree. The possibilities are endless. And even these little wooden signs, you could just put them on as is with magnets on the back or you could paint them up for any occasion. This command center metamorphosis was going to be uber fun. Months of fun for the whole family. Well, just for me for decorating. I even thought about different bows I could put on for Christmas, Halloween, etc. So I got a bunch of fabric out that was sort of the lemon farmhouse neutral decor. I cut it into two and a half inch strips and then just put them in a pile and took one of these zip ties, wrapped it around, and I made sure I had a wired ribbon at the front and back just to kind of hold it in place better and made my version of this messy bow. I just cinched it around the middle, cut it off so that the knot part was at the back, wrapped a piece of fabric ribbon around the middle, and voila, cut off the end, put a magnet on the bottom, and it looks very cute at the bottom of my sign. So here's what the finished product looked like with the little bow on the bottom and the easy peasy lemon squeezy sign. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any suggestions for upcoming months. I'm going to have so much fun with this magnetic interchangeable memo board. See you next time on Discovering the Art of Living.